Hello and welcome to another episode of The Average EV. Today I'm bringing you a charging curve for the 2023 Hyundai Ioniq 5. Let's get into it. All right, everybody, I had the opportunity to drive the Hyundai Ioniq 5 when I was out in Colorado. It was a great experience. Decided it wasn't for me, but do you know what was for me? That charging performance. It was really incredible, and I can't wait to share this session with you all. So let's go ahead, jump straight into it, and stop playing around. So as you can see, we started at 10%, and the battery started at 20 degrees Celsius, which is about 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Not ideal. What will happen is you'll see as soon as it hits 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit, the charging speed is going to go up to the max speed, which is about 228, 229 kilowatts. And there it is, which is really incredible. And it maintains that for a decent amount of time. Now here, as you can see, we get to 50% state of charge. And that took us about nine, nine and a half, 10 minutes, which is really incredible. You certainly could just charge up to 50% and go, and that would be a great um, road tripping strategy, especially since you get you know, 100 to 150 miles uh, at 50%, which would be a really good plan if that is for you. If not, you could wait eight to nine more minutes, and you will, as you'll see in a second here, when you get to 80%, it will only take 19 minutes and 13 seconds for this charge session, which is only about a minute more than Hyundai's quoted charge time, which is incredible because this wasn't even at ideal conditions. So even if it's not perfect, it's going to be okay. The issue for the, the Hyundai Ioniq 5 and any eGMP car is if the battery is super cold, then you're definitely going to have a really poor charging experience. So make sure you leave plenty of time to um, precondition the car by selecting the charger, uh, like routing to it. That way your battery war will warm up so you can have a better charging experience but if it's warmer outside you're probably just going to be okay even if it's not ideal temperatures that being said if you are um it's the summertime and it's above 78 degrees the battery's probably going to be the same as the ambient temperature or pretty close and you'll probably get uh the maximum charging speed immediately if it's a little bit cooler like it was for me um Clearly, and, and I, I recall it being about 60, 68 degrees, and that's right what you know 20 degrees Celsius is. So I should have known better. I should have preconditioned. It's my fault, but I'm glad I didn't because it kind of proves the point. It didn't really matter in the end. It was a minute difference. If it was like five, 10 minute difference, then obviously I would have been more upset, but it was a minute difference. This is an incredible charging car, and it's going to be awesome if you're looking to road trip or even if you just want a local car and you don't want to sit around at a charging station for hours, not hours, but almost an hour every day if you need to do that, that would that would really stink. So really quick, let's just look at the charge curve. Uh, you can see it jumps up to about 190-ish and it rides that until basically the battery hits that 25 degrees Celsius and then goes up to the maximum speed and then it follows a relatively typical EGMP uh, platform curve where it goes down and then kind of ramps back up a little bit and then walks down and then 80% it drops down. Now we didn't charge past 80% here, but I do know 80% it kind of just like woof, it drops to like nothing, cools down and then warms up a little bit. Um, so this was a really great experience uh, charging the Hyundai Ioniq 5. I wish more cars had charging curves like this. Uh, even with all the little oddities of the, you know, the falling down and coming back up, it still is a, a really great charging car. Anyways, I hope you all found this video helpful. If you did, please remember to subscribe, give a like, hit the notification bell, follow me on X, and I will catch you all next time.